Hello. Recently, approximately 40 volunteers from around the world put on fake names, but serious effort, to participate in a Moodle course of that name. The course did not require any extensive content knowledge or Moodle experience. The aim of Water was to get a taste of Moodle by using a range of its basic features as a student first. It was really more about how people work with Moodle, less about how Moodle works. To create this course in a teacher role, I turned editing on, selected either a resource, an activity, or a block from the menus, gave it a name and a brief description, and adjusted the settings the way I wanted and saved it. At any time I could nudge, move, edit, delete, hide or assign groups to any item. Following the same procedure, the course grew from a blank slate to a group of resources and activities first open to participants, to something you see as the latest version, together with all the participant input. As we go through, names and Moodle features talked about will be shown on screen. Let's make a start. In this welcome note, the majority of participants in their student role read and follow the clearly laid out points and expectations of the course. The overview contained not just a list of activities, but also their description and reasons for using each, and roughly how much time will it take to complete each of the activities. Nudged in was the PDF version for those people who like things on paper. Communication and understanding of people is crucial in any learning environment. So for that purpose, I opened a few communication channels straight away. Course news, also shown on the side of the course as a block on the right hand side, as you can see over here. Uh, was a very important way for me as a teacher in a Moodle standard teacher role to make important updates and announcements to all. The participants were invited to introduce themselves to the group uh, and as the course moderator I made sure I welcome each every one of them. If there was a need for instant synchronous communication among us, uh, particularly when asking for and offering help, our chat was there for all, and including the messaging service, which has just popped up here. So these were individual messages or our common course chat. Anyone could participate in. Because this course was open to people I did not know, I, as a teacher, wanted to find out just how well the participants um, how well they knew Moodle and by the looks of it this time we had a bunch of experienced Moodlers on hand. We used the same tool uh, for getting to know the participants preferred and self-identified uh, learning style. Uh, these responses were then used to put people in groups for different activities. While no one had to be an expert on a topic of water in this course, it helped to provide some basic background. Nearly all participants helped themselves to a few easy infographics I had used in the past. Apart from accessing a brief topic background, the participants could uh, really see how neatly files of any kind can be organised and accessed in Moodle. The two multilingual resources were added as examples of web links that could be useful for our multilingual participants.
Moodle itself will not challenge course participants. Good teaching will. Um, but there are plenty of tools and ways to do it with Moodle. And here are just a few of them. Participants were invited to comment on a series of thought-provoking pictures at the start and towards the end of the course. It was great to read a few second-time responses that really showed how people's views and understandings deepened and changed. Based on forum suggestions, I created a little self-guided challenge to show uh, more of the versatility of Moodle's lesson activity. And it was interesting, just by drilling a little bit into people's responses, I could really easily tell how they got through the activity and how well they understood the key issues. As I gather resources for this course, I thought about how to best enable all course participants to contribute and share resources on the topic of water. Our water base may have been just a demo, but it quickly filled up with 43 fabulous resources on the topic of water, um, all contributed by the participants, not me. Entries were linked, described, and sometimes even nicely commented on. In a similar fashion, participants built our very own sample collection of 21 concepts, all explained with examples, um, where again anyone could contribute and include media, uh, links to sources information, uh, and do a few other things as well. Having participants from around the world was a fantastic opportunity to see pictures and stories uh, about people conserving water in the local surrounds. And in this little forum, we got entries from Australia, New Zealand, uh, Mexico, USA, Bolivia, uh, Spain, I believe. And it was a very, very easy and fantastic way to share things. Learning together is the driving philosophy behind Moodle, and particularly the wiki activity is made for it. In Consumer Alert and its dedicated forum, the participants worked on creating a product in smaller separate groups, which were based on the person's preferred self-identified learning style, which we had a look at earlier. Six Thinking Hats is a classic collective problem-solving activity. Each of the different pages in this wiki required a different kind of thinking and the frequent editing of entries of each page by the participants. We lack time to mature this wiki, but it did provide some really good ideas for its use in different settings. While I wasn't going to formally grade people in this course, I still wanted to show two of the most common uh, traditional teacher-led assessment activities. In water tester quiz, the participants literally just dip their toes in the most commonly used types of questions in the otherwise hugely versatile um, quiz activity. The results really didn't matter, but the ideas soon begin to flow, especially because we opened an adjacent forum where participants could actually suggest uh, possible questions, further questions for the quiz. A few participants uploaded their document with replies to an embedded video clip as a stimulus to an open-ended question. In this assignment, which was actually an offline activity, a few participants were kind enough to put in a few achievable water saving actions within the next 30 days, which I can then still look at and grade as normal online assignment. All assessment due dates showed up automatically in the calendar and were automatically entered in a gradebook, where there is again a number of options to weigh, uh, average, report and offer feedback. And finally, a number of people reflected on the course experience through their blogs. If you or your colleagues would like to see, enroll in, even download the whole course with or without sample data, please see the info window for details. Enjoy Moodling!